So um, the brief was to bring together the 100 year centenary of the Institute of Quarry, coupled with um, exploring and, and showing the link between everyday life and minerals and the importance of the two. The garden is based around a couple who have built this new garden and they're inspired by quarrying, they're inspired by um, the beauty of those kind of landscapes. They understand the, the unique capability of a quarry to actually actively increase biodiversity and potential to enrich a landscape. And um, we wanted to use that to explore the fact that the extraction is actually essential to our lives, the minerals we need to make life happen. The key elements for the garden really are three very strong stages. The, the first thing people will see um, is kind of like a rugged slate landscape, a bit like a Mediterranean scree. And then you've got uh, layered planting from very low uh, annuals and herbaceous perennials all the way through to shrubs. And then you kind of look through that and you'll see an open space in the middle which is made out of concrete. And then the back of the garden is made out of cut stone, which um, has been quarried for us and then turned into the most beautiful sculptural enclosure by a local artist. So the two things together, the kind of harshness of the environment, which is beautiful in its own right, and the soft planting make a very modern looking garden. With this garden, I think one of the most amazing things is that we're going to recreate it, re reuse the elements in a totally new space at the National Memorial Arboretum and for me that's um, deeply humbling because only when we walked around the Arboretum did I realise that in there is a garden that will outlive everybody who's alive today potentially. All of those trees will be there a couple of hundred years after we've gone and I think that's just amazing. So for me this is the most exciting garden because its legacy is so much longer than just five days.